found in this place, oh Lord. Yes. You know where they are. You know how they are. You know how they're doing, Father God, because you take them and you protect them and you hold them in your arms, Father God. Protect them from harm and danger, Lord. Father, I ask you for your blessings for each and every brother and sister that's on this way. Yes. Keep them safe on the road. Give them traveling mercies, Father God, from wherever they're coming from. Oh, yes, Father God, we lift this place up, Father God. We lift up the church, yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, we the do. church all around the world, Father God, from here to, to the next part of the world, Father yes. God. Where there's a pastor having a hard time, where there's a preacher fighting a battle, Lord, Father God. Yes. Where there's a missionary in a place, Lord, that they don't know how to get out of, Father God. But you, Father God, will send your help, oh Lord. Send your angels, Father God, to defeat, Father God, the enemy, Lord. Yes. Oh, Lord Jesus, in mighty name, Father God, sometimes we forget about those missionaries who are in places. Lord, where I've been, oh Lord, yes. we had troubles, Lord, and, and we were running, Father God, for our lives. But yes, yes. You, Father God, Hallelujah. you came to the rescue, Lord. Yes. And we thank you, Father God, because you rescued us at yes. the right time, Lord, yes. at the moment when we needed you most, Lord. Oh, Heavenly Father, I ask you, rescue those who are uh, bound by drugs, Father God. Yes. Father God, those who are bound by yes. Yes. Lord, Hallelujah. Father God. Oh Lord yes. Jesus, let us give this to Father God. I break the curse yes. of that dirty, evil devil in the name of Jesus, Father God, that had these people people bound, oh Lord. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name, yes. Father God. I'm not afraid of the gospel. I'm not afraid to preach against That's it. right. But the Lord has given me, Lord, I, I'm I'm not afraid to, to battle the devil, Father God, because you gave us authority and power over Yes, that's power. right. You said that anything we ask in Jesus' yes. name, it shall be done, Lord. In yes. Jesus' name. So right now, I cast out those demons of yes. Jesus right now. Right this now. This pandemic, Father God, that is made by man, I cast it out in the yes. name of Jesus. Yes, yes. If there's anyone who's afflicted by this pandemic, Lord, I cast it out right now. Yes, in the name, in of, the Jesus. name of Jesus. It shall not come near us or nigh us, Father God. That's right. Because you have covered us with your blood, Father yes. God. We are covered under the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. we are. Oh, Father God, we thank you for your son, Jesus, who said, I will go to yes. save these souls, Father God. Yes. And he went on the cross, Lord. Father, we complain sometimes about the aches and pains, but when we remember where Jesus was, hanging on the cross, Father God. Yes. Oh, Father God, suffering in his body, Lord Jesus. And he died a horrible, humiliating yes. death, oh Lord, for us, yes. Lord. And we were not worthy of this, oh Lord. Yes. But you saw, he saw it worthy, Father God, yes, before he died. He did. Yes, he did. Oh, thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We call you, Father God, to send your spirit, Father God, permanent in this yes. place, Lord. Let your Holy Spirit move in this place right yes. now, Father God. Yes. Heavenly Father, we want a visitation from yes. you today, Father God. Oh, Father God, please, the yes. worship team, Lord Jesus, yes. give them that special anointing like you do every yes. Sunday, Father God. Yes. Father God, that the angels of the Lord will come and visit us and sit by us, Father God. Yes. Let the Holy yes. Spirit will come yes. upon us, Lord. That we may speak in clothing tongues, Father yes. God, and not be afraid to preach yes. the gospel and to pray and speak yes. in tongues, Father God. Because that is a gift that you have given me, Father God. Yes. And I will not yeah. say no, I will say yes to yes. what I'm saying to you, Lord. Yes. Oh, let your will be done, Father God, not mine, Lord. Praise In me. the name of Jesus, Praise I pray, Father God, for those that are sick in other places, Lord. Yes. Father God, I pray for Pastor Lewis right now who is yes. sick from another church, oh Lord. I ask yes. you, Lord, to heal his body, Father God. Have mercy upon him, oh Lord. Yes. Give him the strength that he needs, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Lift them up, Father God. You know that there's an attack of the devil upon him right now, Father God. But we call upon your name, Lord. Believe in Father God for healing in this body, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, we do. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, bless our children, Father God. Bless the fathers today that are broken hearted, Father God. For parents who lost their family members. For even their fathers, Father. In the name of Jesus, I ask you to bring peace upon their hearts, O Lord. All these family members that are broken today because their father isn't here, Lord. Yes, but Father, you're the father of all fathers, oh Lord. Yes, you are. You are like heavenly you. father. And then you Thank love you us Jesus. so you love us so much, Father God, you, that you said that one would ever hurt us, Lord. Yes. That you will protect us. Yes. And we believe you will, Father, in the yes. name of Jesus, Lord. Yes. Bless each and every person that's gonna take part in this yes. place today, Father God. Father, anoint your servant today, yes. Father God, in a special way to bring yes. forth the word, Lord Jesus, that will touch yes. our hearts. They will move our spirits, oh Lord. Yes. Shake this ground, Father God, that yes. we stand on right now. In the name of Hallelujah. Jesus, Lord. And we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you yes, praise, my dear Lord. God. Just you, my Lord. Look at these people, Father God, that are sick right now in the hospital. I don't know who they are, Lord. But yes. I know you see them from heaven, Lord. Jesus. Father, I ask you to send your Holy Spirit to come upon them, Lord. Yes. Caress them, embrace them, love. Yes. Love on them, Father God. Let them feel your presence, my yes, God. Lord. 
Jesus. And they see your glory, my dear God. Yes. In Jesus' name, Father, I pray for a friend of mine whose yes. name is Jason, Lord. And only yes. he has a tumor that's the size of a of a, a golf ball, Lord Jesus. Yes. It's in the back of his head, Lord. Father, he's going to surgery today, Father. Yes. Lord, I ask you to send your Holy Spirit, Father, yes. to come from right now. I'm yes. going to pray, Lord. But you have everything in your hands, Lord. Yes. I pray, Father God, if he goes through this surgery, Father God, that he will come out brand new, Father yes. God. Yes. I ask you, Lord Jesus, to have mercy on him, Father, to touch those doctors, those surgeons that are, uh, remove the surgeon, Father God, you do the surgery, yes, Lord, Lord Jesus. Because you're the doctor of all doctors. Yes, and see you are. Here, Father. Yes, in the name Lord. of Jesus, yes. Father God, to bring him home safely to his wife and his children, Lord, yes, Lord. and protect him, Father God, from the ways of your Lord Jesus, and bring yes. him home, Father. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I ask you for these things, Lord. Yes, we do. Thank Praise you, Lord God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm trading my shame and I'm laying the 
will be answered in this place Hallelujah. on today. Hallelujah. I pray that expectation will be revealed. Yeah. Amen. In the name of Jesus, God, I pray that every prayer will be answered. The, man God, the manifestation yeah. of that prayer. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, what you have been praying for, what you have been believing God for, yes. what you have been asking God for, what you have been standing in the game, I just believe that on today, before you leave this place, on today, before you log off of social media, on today, you're going to see the manifestation. Mm, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. what it is that you've been believing yes. God for. Yes. Amen. Do I got anybody? I don't care where you are. They don't mind creating an atmosphere with the level of expectation that you have for what you believe that God is going to do in your life on today. Amen. Do I got anybody that don't mind? Do I got anybody that don't mind?
we celebrate you on today. Amen. 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 Ain't nothing like a godly father. Nothing like a godly father. Amen. 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 We thank God for all the fathers. Amen. I just I want to go. I know. I know, ladies. That y'all and y'all have uh, an awesome day plan, amen, for your husbands and your fathers and different things like that. So I don't want to hold y'all long because I know yes. y'all have a special yes. day, yes. an yes. awesome day, a yes. magnificent day, yes. amen, a day that they would yes. never forget, yes. amen, never forget. that you have planned for them, amen. 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 I know, I know when I talk to them later, they will tell me that they were not disappointed. Woo! Amen. It exceeded no. all of their expectations. Amen. 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 So I am excited. Amen. Amen. On today. Amen. Thank you, God, for each and every one of you in your respectful places to my ministry and brethren. Amen. Woo! Pastor Alvarez, Elder Nunn. Amen. 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 They were awesome and beautiful wives. Amen. Amen. To each and every mother, Amen. missionary, deacon, Amen. brother, sister, saint, and friend. Amen. To the most beautiful woman on this side of heaven. Amen. 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 Most beautiful woman on this side of heaven. That in the person of first. Come on. Lady, King. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'm going to ask her that she would just come and join me for a few fleeting moments. Amen. Give an honor for our two beautiful yes. daughters. Amen. Anaya and Araya. Yes. Amen. I thank God yes. for them as well. Amen. I'm excited about what God is going to say. So if you would go with me to Proverbs. Amen. The fourth chapter. Proverbs. This word. I will be in power. According to Acts 1 and 8. If I receive this word, I will be equipped. According to Ephesians 6 and 10. If I receive this word, I will be transformed. According to Romans 12 and 2. If I receive this word, I will be blessed. According to Deuteronomy 28. Say, Lord. I believe, I believe this, word. this word. I believe this word. I believe this word. The Proverbs, amen, the fourth chapter in the first verse reads as follows. Hear ye children the instruction of a father mm -hmm. and attend to know understanding. Mm. Amen. Amen. It says, hear ye children the instruction of a father and attend to know understand. Yes, Lord. That ends the reading of God's most precious and holy um, word on today. Amen. God gave me that one scripture. Amen. I'm going to give you what he gave me. Amen. If I could share a thought with you on today, the thought would be simple. And that thought is, I've got something to say. I just want to talk from that thought on today. I, I've got something to say. I've got something to say. I, I've said a whole lot of things, but I need you to make sure that you hear me on today. I, I've got something to say. I need you to hear the instruction. I've got something to say. Yes. There was an old legend regarding the Cherokee Indian used to write a passage. When a boy is ready to become a man, the father takes his son into the forest. He blindfolds him and he leaves him alone. He is required to sit on a tree stump the entire night and not remove the blindfold until the rays of the morning sun shine through. He cannot cry for help to anyone 
because only after he survives the night, he is considered a man. He cannot tell the other boys of his experience because each boy must come into his own manhood. The boy is naturally terrified. He can hear all kinds of noises. He hears the wild beasts that are all around him, maybe even some humans who might do harm to him. But during the boy's ordeal, the wind will blow, the grass will creep, and the stump will shake. But he has to sit there calmly, never removing the blindfold. It was only when the only way he could watch this become a man. Finally, after the horrific night, the sun appeared and he removed his blindfold. It was then that he discovered his father sitting on the stump mm -hmm. next to him. Come on now, come on. He had been at watch the entire night, watch this, protecting his son from all hurt, harm, or danger. Today, I want to congratulate all men, all the men who are working diligently to protect their sons, their daughters, their wives, their families from all hurt, harm, and danger. I want to congratulate all men who are working diligently to be good fathers, whether they are stepfathers, biological fathers, or spiritual fathers. I want to congratulate and encourage you to keep motivating our sons and daughters to be all who God has called them to be. Mm -hmm. There is a quote that states, a man with no direction is a man headed in many directions. Whoa. It doesn't matter how long you have traveled in the wrong direction, you still have time to turn around. Come on. It doesn't matter how long you traveled in the wrong direction, you still have time to turn around. The problem many of us have is we, get, we expect good directions from someone who has never made the journey. We expect to get good directions from someone who has never made the journey. But sometimes in order to move forward in life, you need to turn around. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean you wasted your time. It just means you didn't know then what you know now. That's right. mm -hmm. Therefore, it is my prayer not only for every father, but everyone under the sound of my voice, that God will bring your prayer life and your thought life into a divine alignment which will provide the direction you need for your next assignment. Mm -hmm. God, help me in this place. Mm -hmm. It is my prayer that you are moved into a place that causes you to acknowledge I know who I am. And, and I will no longer be defined by who people say that I am, but who God says that I am. I'm, I'm talking to some fathers and a body of believers who have made up their minds that I will defy the odds. Come on, come I, I will on. overcome obstacles. I will exceed my expectations. I will excel in every area of my life. I will accomplish great things. I will not only prevail, but I also I will also prosper in Christ Jesus. Watch this. Who strengthens me. Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, I will overcome the impossibilities that my forefathers not only dreamed of, but prayed for. I believe God for extra grace so that I can not only look for a miracle, but I can also so expect the impossible. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 On, on this past Friday, on this past Friday, um, we on this past Friday, um, we celebrated Juneteenth on this past mm -hmm. Friday, which commemorates the end of slavery in the United States. Come on. Huh? Dating back to 1865, it was on June 19th that the Union soldiers led by Major General Gordon Granger landed at Galveston, Texas, with news that the war had ended mm -hmm. and that the enslaved were now free. Okay, okay. This was two and a half years after yeah. President Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation, which had become official January 1st, 1863. Uh -huh. It was stated that one of the possible reasons the information was deliberately withheld by the enslavers was to maintain the labor force on the plantations. <laughs> and here we are in 2020, and it would be a truth for many of us to say that we are still struggling. Uh -huh. It would be a truth for many of us to say that we are still trying to make yeah. it. Uh -huh. It would be a truth for many of us to say that we are still trying to survive, but I've come to let you know it's not where you start, but it's where you finish. Yeah. And yeah. you can't finish if you refuse to get started. Hey, man, if you next 
to somebody you don't mind nudging or pointing your finger at telling them, you need to get started. You, you, need, to get you started. need to get started. You Come need to now. get started. Watch this canary sing, canary sing, but they are still in a cage. And people will say something with their mouth, but they don't live with their life. But God told me to tell you, if you are not afraid to get started, he's going to allow you to live like you speak. Y'all don't even know when to give God it's praise. Y'all don't even know when to give God glory. God said yeah. that you ain't afraid to give him praise. He's going to allow you to live like you speak. And in this season of your life, God is saying, I don't need you to speak what you can see. He says, it's time for you to start speaking what you want to see. Help me in this place. If you can speak favor, you will live in favor. If you can speak healing, you can have healing. If you can speak a greater anointing, you can have a greater anointing. If you can speak prosperity, you can live in prosperity. I don't know need you to speak about what's going wrong, about what ain't going right, but I need you to open your mouth and start speaking what it is that you want to see. And all by his word, that's even lying to your mouth. Open your mouth. Tell God what you need him to do. Just get to your points. Okay, okay. Just get to your points. You should just get to your points. I'll do the best I can. I'll do the best I can. Let me make these two points based on what God gave me and in Proverbs 4 and 1. And, and then I can let y'all go and enjoy y'all fathers being me. Hey, Amen. The first point is, the first point, I'll make sure you get this, make sure you get this. The first point is, you will never be better than the thoughts you think. Mm -hmm. Please make sure you get that down. You will never be better uh -huh, than the thoughts you think God oh, helped me in this place. I told you I got something to say. I got something to say. Yeah. 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 I got something to say. Yeah. You, you will never be better than the thoughts um, you think. Mm -hmm. What you pursue is determined by your influence. And, and your influence evolves around the people you surround yourself yeah. with. And, and many of us tend to surround ourselves, watch this, with people who, who, who like to keep it real. Uh -huh. We surround ourselves with people who like to keep it real. But what many of you call keeping it real is nothing more than an opportunity for the enemy, for the devil, for the deceiver, for the adversary to keep you broke. Uh -huh. It's nothing more than an opportunity for the enemy to keep you divorced. It's nothing more than an opportunity for the enemy to keep you without hope. Uh -huh. Who you surround yourself with determines how you think about yourself. See, y'all don't know when this is God help me. See, you were supposed to shout glory just then. Who you surround yourself with, uh -huh. who you surround yourself with determines how you think about yourself. You will never be better than the thoughts you think. Uh, the Bible declares, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Uh, so how you think determines how high or how low you go. Uh, how you think determines your strengths or your weaknesses. Uh, you are only one thought away, watch this, from changing your life. Uh, you are one thought away from experiencing a miracle. You are one thought away from experiencing a breakthrough. Huh? You are one thought away from walking in healing. You, you are one thought away from living in victory. Huh? You are one thought away from feasting on God's goodness. Huh? You are one praise away from a greater anointing. Huh? As a matter of fact, I'm wondering, do I got any entrepreneurs in here? You are one idea away from becoming a millionaire. Y'all have to talk to me. I knew I knew how to get y'all to give God some way. I knew I knew how to get you to open your mouth and put your hands. You are the away from God changing the trajectory of your life. Watch this. It's the enemy's goal. It's the enemy's goal, enemy's goal or prime objective um, um, to dumb you down so you can't think. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's his prime objective. That's his prime goal to dummy you down so you can't think. Watch this. Y'all, I hope y'all ready for this. The simple scripture. I hope y'all ready for it. Romans the 7th chapter and the 25th verse. Watch what Paul says. Paul says, uh huh. He said, It is with the mind I serve the Lord. Okay. God help me in this place. He said, It is with the mind I serve the Lord. Therefore, if you can't think, you can't serve. Uh, if you can't think, you can't serve. You will never evolve if you can't think. You will never change if you can't think. You will never grow if you can't think. You will never develop if you can't think. You will never mature if you can't think. And for many of us, our 
situations are not a problem, our thoughts are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. For many of us, I said, it's our situation ain't the problem. Right? It's the way we think about our situation that's the problem. Our situations aren't the problem. Our thoughts are. And your thoughts can either be a problem or they can be a solution. Right? And many times our thoughts, watch this, get us in trouble because they cause us to pursue something that isn't in God's will. Oh, y'all been with me now. Mm, thank you, y'all. I'm here to respond now. Yeah, y'all trying to make me get loose in here. Yes, Lord. Uh, uh, uh -huh. We tend to pray for what we want. Watch this. But we get mad when God gives us what we need. Mm -hmm. That's what you mean. I'm so glad that God not only answers prayer. But more importantly, he hears prayer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad he not only answers prayer, but he hears prayer. Pastor, you got to explain a little bit more. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I'm so glad uh -huh, that God not only answers prayer, but more importantly, he hears them. He heard what I prayed and knew it would damage me. I got, okay, this is when keeping it real goes wrong. Okay, <laughs> okay this is when. See, uh, 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 he heard when you prayed and knew it would destroy your life. Mm -hmm. And instead of giving you what you prayed, he gave you what you need. Huh? And that's why you have to be careful not to make your will stronger than God's oh, will. Huh? Oh. Because your actions, your actions will align with whichever transmission you are receiving. Huh? Oh. And if you entertain the wrong thoughts, you'll find yourself having the wrong dreams. I'm going to say that one more time. If you entertain the wrong thoughts, you will find yourself having the wrong dreams and claim that it's God's will when in essence it was your will. Uh, okay, keep on. Just because something looks good on someone else doesn't mean it looks good on you. Uh, that's why the prophet Samuel said, man looks at the outward appearance. Uh, God had to give him some instruction. He said, Samuel, man looks at the outer appearance. But I look at the heart. And God has some tailor-made blessings just for you. They are designed just for you. They fit you and nobody else. So what you need to say, Lord, everything in my closet that don't fit me, let me throw it out so I can get a new wardrobe that's tailored the way you try to take me. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. However, sometimes, sometimes we make we mistake our will for God's will because of what we want. That's right. Right. We mistake we mistake our will for God's will. God help me. Uh huh. Because of what we want. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm trying to let that, let me let that sink in, stay sink in. Y'all, excuse me. That's real. That is real. Okay. <laughs> 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 I gotta let it get there. I gotta make sure you got it. I gotta make sure. Okay. Sometimes we mistake our will for God's will because of what we want. Mm -hmm. uh, but God, God will not only supply all our needs, but according to Psalms 20 and 4, he will give you the desires of your heart. Watch this. And make your plan succeed. Uh, and Romans 8 and 28 tells us that all things work together for the good to those that love God and are called according to his purpose. Uh, so despite what you are going through, uh, and as painful as it is, it serves a purpose. Yeah. Uh, as awful as it was, Watch this. It serves yes. a purpose. Uh, if we are going to be the light of the world, we have to experience some darkness. Uh, uh, oh, God, y'all don't want to even talk to me in this place. Don't get deep on me now. If you are going to be the light of the world, uh, you've got to experience some darkness. Wow. So why do I got to experience darkness? I'm glad you asked because I'm going to tell you why. God didn't call you to be a flashlight. He called you to be the God and light. Y'all better help me. I said, watch this, follow me, because I'm following it. Yeah. 
Okay, y'all ain't like that. Okay, I need you another one. Watch this. God didn't call you to be the tail light. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He called you to be the head. Yeah.
if you ain't afraid uh, to make this confession in here, say, Lord, Lord, there's so much more so much I still more. have to learn. Still have there's, to learn. So there's, so there's so much more I still have to learn. There's so much more I still have to learn. Please hear me, please hear me. There are some things uh, some of you have been holding on to which keep you from stretching or stretching out for, uh, reaching or stretching out for. Uh, if you are going to reach what God has for you, uh, you have to let go of what you are holding on to. Amen. If you're going to reach uh, for what God has for you, you got to let go uh, of what you're holding on to. Uh, you can't keep the residue of what God told you to cut off or cut out and think you are going to prosper. Mm -hmm. That's just like a recovering alcoholic with a full bar in their house. Mm -hmm. It's a setup. Y'all don't want to talk to me in this place. It's a setup. It's a setup. Yeah. Yeah. That what makes you weak? Yes. So why surround yourself with some secret <laughs> seven? Why, okay, why, why surround yourself? Let me go ahead and let y'all know how old I am. Why you surround yourself with some Alice? Oh, oh, let me help you out. Why you surround yourself with some Manish Shannon or some Thunderbird or some. Let me get back here. Let me get back here. Uh, see, I'm saying, Pastor, I don't know nothing about no. Let me, let, me, let me come with you. Let me come with you. Let me come with you. Uh huh. Let me come with you. It's a setup. Mm -hmm. God's will and purpose is designed to take you places, but if you keep surrounding yourself with the wrong people and keeping yourself stuck in the same environment, watch this, you will relapse. Jesus, right? Come on. You will relapse, okay? Um, 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 Pastor, what, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? I relapse. What's, what's relapse, okay? I'm, I'm going to tell you what a relapse is. I'm going to tell you this is what God gave me. I'm going to show you what God, this is what God gave me. A relapse is nothing more than a collision between your past and your future. Wow. Oh, that's all it is. Bam, wow. it's a crash. Huh? Wow. You're trying to go somewhere, but they ain't, what, 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 what we've been holding on to you is trying to pull you back. And it causes a crash. It causes a wreck. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A wreck. Wreck your life. Uh -huh. A wreck. Mm -hmm. Therefore, if you don't change your attitude about your situation, you will never experience the altitude mm -hmm. of your destination. Wow. And, and someone needs to know it's your attitude that keeps pulling you back, not a demonic attack. Whoa. Whoa. That's what I said. Uh -huh. It's your attitude. Devil ain't make you do nothing. <laughs> Just got a bad attitude. <laughs> we, 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 got, we, we have to have something to blame it on. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's your attitude you never dealt with. When you was a child, they told you, watch this, watch this, watch this. Some of y'all don't know what I'm talking about. When you was a child, they told you, you grown. Uh-huh. When you was a child, they told you, you acting man. Yes, that's what they said. I'm still trying to find a definition of man. Shh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's what they told you. And in essence, what they were letting you know was, you got an attitude problem. Uh-huh. <coughs> you got an attitude. Oh, my God. Problem. It's not the your attitude that keeps pulling you back. Uh -huh. it, it's, it's your attitude that keeps pulling you back, not a demonic attack. It's your attitude that keeps people from hiring you. I wish they would have been doing it. Oh, yeah. Get your foot in the door. Yeah. Get your foot in the door. Yeah. Not the door, in the door. Come on, baby, man. Baby, <laughs> when you get your foot in the door, you can walk through the door. Uh. But you got to get in the door. So you can walk through the door. Yeah. I need a, I need a pat down. I need a pat down. Get yeah, this can in my mind. Yeah. Right, right. Make some shirts. Get some shirts, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your foot in the door so you can walk through the door. Uh -huh. yeah. Now you know we're gonna spell do D O. Uh -huh. right. We'll just put the little line above the O so we know the O is the long. It's the long sound. It's the it's the long sound and not the short sound. Uh huh. Uh -huh. It's the long. Okay. Uh -huh. Let me. Uh -huh. It's your attitude that makes people not want to be around you. It's your attitude. I don't want to be. It's your attitude. Y'all always want to go and visit this person, but y'all don't never want to come around. It's your attitude. Mm. It's your attitude. It's your attitude. The Bible tells us if we want friends, watch this, we have to show ourselves friends. Yes. Come on, come on. Yes. Oh. 
trying to tell them, I ain't got no friends. Go out and make some. That's right. That's right. That's how you get them. That's a wonderful guy. I don't talk to people I don't know. Well, you never have friends. All right. You'll never, never meet new people. That's right. That's right. I talk to somebody. Say that. I'm going to talk to But he said, don't talk to me to death. You don't want to be stuck on the other way with me. He's going to be like, I knew he was born and lived. What have you been doing? I'm talking about it. He's going to be like, oh, I wish he would stop talking. And when I talk with him, we're friends now. <laughs> we're friends. Hey, I'm going to show you a friend. You can't expect people to love you. You don't want to talk to them. It's not that people don't like you. It's just that you're not a friendly person. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Got out to a Hey. Uh-huh. Watch this. Your attitude keeps people away from you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Your attitude keeps people away from you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Your attitude keeps people from helping you. Yeah. God help me in this place. Your attitude keeps people from helping you. Uh, your attitude, watch this, y'all ain't gonna believe this. Y'all ain't gonna believe this. Keep people from loving you. Uh, y'all, no more. Y'all say, Pastor, you going too far. Man. You know, you mess, you're trying to mess with my love life. You, you go, you just a pastor. You're supposed to just talk about the Bible. Uh-huh. Your attitude, God is love, so I'm gonna tell you about love. Your attitude keeps people from loving you. To keeps people from loving God. Let me let me go ahead and close it. Let me finish this out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm, 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 I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I need you to hear me. I'm here to get every father. I'm here to get every father. Whether you in this building or you watching on um, on social media, I'm here to give you your clout and your shine. I'm here to celebrate you. I'm the one who's gonna tell you how good you are. I'm gonna tell you how awesome you are. You are the greatest and you are the best. But for every man under the sound of my voice, if you're going to operate as the head, because we want to be the head, we want to operate as the head. If you're going to operate as the head, oh, I might be about to get in trouble now. I'm probably about to get in trouble, so tell go ahead and say it. Go ahead and say it. Go ahead and say it anyway. She say, say it anyway, Pastor. So I'm going to go ahead and say it anyway. If you are the boss, she got my back. I'm really walking strong now. I'm walking strong now. Uh-huh. If, you, if you're going to operate as the head, you have to be the head in every aspect of your family's life. Uh-huh. You can't be a part-time or sometime head. You got to be the head in every aspect of your family's life. Okay, Pastor. Okay, Pastor. You got to prove it. You got to prove it. If you're going to be the head, why are you going to be the head usher in church? I won't be the head usher at your home, God. You don't want to talk to me. You got to be the one who ushers in the presence of God at your house. You got to be the head usher at your house. You want to be the head praise and worship leader, and you don't want to be the prayer praise and worship leader at your home. You need to learn how to create an environment and an atmosphere that gives God supernatural freedom and opportunity to work in your natural environment. Y'all don't want to talk to me in this place. You want to be the senior pastor and rebuke the hand of, but you won't rebuke the hand of the enemy at your house. You won't rebuke sickness at your house. You won't rebuke disease at your house. You won't preach repentance at your house. You won't preach forgiveness at your house. If you going to be the head in your house, you got to be the head in every aspect of your life. Now, I was talking about fathers. I was yeah. talking about me. Yeah. Remember the fathers, I gave you your cloud and your shine. But to every man, yeah. if you gonna be the head, be the head. Woo! Jesus. Come on, say that. Hallelujah. Uh, watch this. Uh, watch this, watch this. And for me, this is the most important one. Uh, if you're gonna be the head, uh, show them you're not so much of a man uh, that you can't bow down to the man. That's right. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, bow down. And worship him. Bow down and, yes. and worship yes. him. When, when was the last time she seen you worship him? When, yes. when was the last time she seen you praise him? When was the last time she heard you go in an unknown song? When was the yes. last time y'all were in the presence of God to get y'all don't want to talk to me in this? I ain't talking about at church. I, I'm talking about at the house. Ah. Don't be in this 
this place? Uh, but do I have anybody in this house? Uh, do I have any man? Do I have any woman? Uh, do I have any son or daughter uh, that's not afraid to bow down and worship yeah. him? Uh, yeah. Do I got yeah. any worshipers in the house? Yeah. Uh, who know how to say the Lord? Uh, who know how to say hallelujah? Uh, who know how to say Lord, I love you? Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, do I got anybody in the house uh, that know how to say yes, Lord? Uh, Holy 
spirit on the inside of you. Watch this. Told you to open your mouth. Uh -huh. God, and you say, Lord, I don't even have nothing to say, God. God have you ever been in a place where you were so frustrated? You were so full of fear. You were so disappointed. You were so upset. You were so angry. And you was about to step over there into being an angry that you see it. But you had to pull your foot back so you didn't see your sin. Now, nah, okay, I'm just one. You were so, he said, open your mouth. Open my mouth for what? I'm the only one been there. I'm the only one been there. So if y'all ain't been there, I'll tell you about my experience. He told me, he said, open your mouth. And I don't know if any of y'all have ever been stuttering like me and said, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now he want me to say something. He ain't said nothing in two weeks. Y'all ain't up there? Yeah, <laughs> there. He ain't said nothing. You can't hear anything. You read, you study, you pray, and it's like, okay, all right, Lord, I need to hear you. Yes. And now, I, I feel like I'm so far in that I can't come out of it. Oh my God. You tell me to open my mouth. God, help me. In this place, uh -huh. Uh -huh. But what I found out is, when I open my mouth, I confuse the devil. The devil was already doing his victory yes, dance because yes, I yes, looked at yes. him. Oh, Y'all don't want to talk to me in this place. Oh, but God said, I see you in this marriage, right? Yes, come on. I see you in this whole pen, but I need you to open your mouth. Yes, yes. When you open your mouth, huh? Uh huh? Uh huh? You open your mouth because you have the audacity. Uh, you had the nerve uh, uh, to believe uh, if you open your mouth uh, uh, that the Lord would bless you. God, I mean, in this way. You had the audacity and the nerve to believe uh, if you open your mouth, God will pull you yes. out and deliver yes. you. Uh, me in this place. That's why now I understand what my brothers and my fathers were saying. Lord, anyway you bless me, I'll be satisfied. I understood what they said. When they said he's an all time God, he may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. Jesus, he's right there. Jesus, he's right there. See, 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 the last little part is my last little part. I gotta go through like four or five little on my clothes, but I don't say I'm gonna close one more time. Now I'm just telling you I'm just gonna ask the talk, so I'm confused that I'll be like I said, I'm gonna close eight times. I didn't say it. I just said it one time. Just one. Just see this right here? Just one. That's all I said. I just said it one time. But now this is my last little part right here. Then my last little part. Mm -hmm. Last little part. We can go and finish it. Uh-huh. I'm gonna go and finish it. Uh -huh. See, see, the enemy wants to make you think, watch this. That you can only worship God when things are going well. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He, he wants you to think you can only worship God when yes. things are, are going well. But I believe, I believe, I don't know if you believe. Uh, I would hope that you would agree with me and believe as well. But I believe there's a remnant, remnant of you in here. And there's a remnant of you watching uh, who can give God worship and praise even when you feel like you're going to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, go! 
help me in this place. Uh, uh, this is the praise. This is the praise. Uh, this is the praise. This here is the praise. I, I just believe that praise breaks stuff up. Yes. Uh, that's why I like the shout, the, the, um, uh, the, um, the shout, the shout for me. I just think about the walls of Jericho yes. tumbling yes. down. That's that's the shout. So when I'm saying shout, when I'm shouting, I just see Ooh, stuff Jesus. crumbling. I, I see stuff falling. I see Whoa. stuff breaking up and falling apart. And what the enemy, see, you got to understand, what the enemy does, the enemy tries, uh -huh, only God can put you back together and make you look better than what you were before. Wow. Amen. Right, baby. Right. Right. But yeah. when the enemy tries to put you back together, you can still see the cracks and the crevices, uh -huh. because he still needs an avenue that he can get in. Mm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, so what the enemy does, what the enemy does, the enemy tries to put you back together. So you would think you, you would think you are right because you start to feel a little bit. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But anytime, anytime he wants to get back in, he has a little crack. Yeah. Uh -huh. And he has a little crack. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Have you ever seen something? I, was, I, I just seen a commercial recently, and it was just like it was just like this clay, um, this clay or this rock covering that was on something, and then they wanted to show you the brand new thing that was underneath it, and it just began to crumble. And then you begin to see the beauty of what was up behind it. Help me in this place. Huh? Y'all just missed that. Uh -huh. There was a clay. There was a clay. There was a clay. There was a container that this awesome thing was on the inside of. Uh, and then and on the commercial, literally, the outer container began to crumble. And you were able to see the beauty of what was on the inside. See, y'all ain't getting that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The outer part was beginning to crumble. So you could see the beauty of what was on the inside. And this is what I need you to do. I, I know you love this creature feature. All right. <laughs> Oh, I'm talking about this container. Oh, my hell. Oh, man. This container. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, okay. Y'all say, that's why you say preacher feature. Uh, because the Bible says if any man be in Christ, he is a new Okay. Preacher feature. Yeah. Preacher. Uh, yeah. This, uh, uh, this is the yeah, we'll creature. We'll cre creature comes from the word what? Root word what? Creation. Create. Uh -huh. Okay, we good. We good. That one for y'all. I'm so damn. I'm gonna blame it on y'all. I'm gonna blame it on y'all. Okay. Uh huh. So I know you love it. You you want to get it all cut up. I'm trying to grow a beard. I don't even know. I mean, I'm trying to get lines in there. Trying to grow the beard out and do all kind of stuff. I know we get the makeup done. We get our hair done. We do all this stuff because we want to dress this container up. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry to let you know that this container ain't nothing but dirt. Mm -hmm. I don't care how many showers you take, yeah. how many baths you take, how much you scrub yourself, you're going to find some dirt. Uh huh. Because this container ain't nothing but dirt. Uh huh. And this container is going back to the ground. The yes. most important thing that you have is not the container, it's what's on the inside of the container. I'm trying to help you. It's what's on the inside of the container. Now, look, this is what I need. This is what I need. This is what I need. Please hear me. Because this is what I need. I don't need you to let out a shout because of your. I don't need you to shout like your container. God, y'all don't want to talk to me in this place. I, I want you to shout like the greatness that's on the inside of the container. I need you to let that greatness on the inside of you loose. I need you to let that greatness on the inside of you have this way. I need you to open your mouth and let the Holy Ghost. I need you to open your mouth and let the Holy Spirit have his way. Open your mouth. In the Lord's name,
Pastor, what are you saying? God says your praise is going to call an avalanche. He says I'm awesome. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
God, you didn't let the flood overtake me. Don't let the flood overtake them. Yeah. I need you to promise them.
God, it is with the mind we serve you. It is with our mind we please you. It is with the mind we worship and we praise you. God, it is with our mind. But God, it is with our mind. God, strengthen our mind. Cast down every vain imagination yeah. that comes against our mind. Every toxic and negative thought or yes. word yes. that comes against our mind. We cast it down. Yes. Now I need you to stretch your hand forward, stretch your hand forward, stretch your hand forward. And say, Lord, cover the mind of my child. Lord, cover the mind yeah. of my child. Cover the mind of my child. Cover the mind of my child. Cover the mind of my grandchildren. Cover the mind of my nieces and my nephews. Cover the mind of my siblings. Cover the mind of my co-workers. Cover the mind of my neighbors. Cover the mind of my spouse. Your hands together and give God your praise.